Okay, so my project is on gyroscopes, and well, this is a gyroscope. The question that I had was that I believe that um, gyroscopes defy um, a law of motion. The question was, which law of motion does the gyroscope defy? So um, the purpose of the experiment was to figure out what law of um, what law of motion does the gyroscope defy. The hypothesis, I thought, is defined the third law of um, motion, which states that um, for every action that there is an equal to opposite reaction. But with the gyroscope, I don't believe that it is an equal to opposite reaction, it's, but, it's, but it's not going the way that you want it to go. So um, for, the, like, for the test I had, the first test, it was on the first law of motion. And all I simply did was put it on hard tile floor, put it at a certain point, and just push it, and then see how far it went. A variable for that was that I had to try to keep the force that I had the, the same. So it wouldn't, like, it, if you use more force on it, it'll go farther than you really had it going the first time. So yeah. And for the um I did the third law of motion also. I skipped the second law of motion because I really believe that there was no point of doing it and also I really didn't have the materials for it. Uh so basically for the third law of motion I had a few volunteers, all they basically did was first just hold it, move it around, see what happened. And like when it didn't spin, when it wasn't spinning, it just went the way that you wanted to go. But when you had the gyroscope spinning, it just like didn't like you did like if you push it forward, it will go to the left, and if you push it backwards, it will go to the right. And that was the observation that I had. And for an observation for the first law of motion, if you place the disc that's right here horizontally and you push it, it really wouldn't go as far as if you had it vertical and you push it. So yeah, um, now since um, for, for the conclusion, since it has the, since it defies the third law of motion, you can kind of do a lot of things like a lot of tricks with it, for example. So if you like charge it up, and if you had it on a pole, and you put it on your finger, it would not just fall down if it was spinning, but if you didn't have it spinning, it would just fall. And so, um, I was thinking that I should just charge this up and just pass this around so I can show you guys like how it feels when you have it so like when you have it charged up and when you don't have it charged up. So I'm gonna charge this up and talk at the same time. And now for the background research, I had um, the first gyroscope was made by this person named C.A. Bonnenberger. And um, so he created this and it's also in a lot of things that you like a gyroscope is in, for example, it's in a ship, it's in um, like battleships for war. They use this so they can, um, like for turning. They also have it in airplanes. So, uh, yeah, there's a lot of things that it has. So now since this is done charging, just want to pass this around. So, um, yeah, and so uh, I really had fun with this project, and the materials I had was the gyroscope, a paper, a pencil, a hard tile floor, and a gyroscope generator. And um, this 
is the pole that I use to hold the gyroscope up and you can also hold it up on this screen if you wanted to. Um, yeah. Um, so basically there was um, like for the assistants that I had um, the most of them were teenagers two well one was a parent so they said um, when you when it wasn't spinning it was no resistance at all but when you had it when I charged it up for 15 seconds and stuff they said it's um, it like it didn't want it to go like one person actually dropped it because it, it, it just like slipped out of his hand when they were trying to put it like this way so also and if you the harder like the far the longer that you charge it so the longer that you charge it the um the more resistant it is and for the first law of motion um for the trials for the first three i did i didn't like charge it so it was zero seconds and um like for the first three zero seconds it really didn't go that far but when you had when I charged it up for thirty seconds, it went um, as long as like three feet and stuff. And the longest one that it went is ten feet. And for when I charged it for one minute, it kind of went the same distance all the way through. And also for one minute um, and thirty seconds. And on um, this side right here. It shows all the um, bars, graphs, and stuff. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, questions? Martel. The materials I had was a gyroscope, paper, pencil, hard tile floor, and the gyroscope generator. Come on. If you would have used the second law of motion, you would have got different results for your project? I believe that, um, I really did. I wouldn't get the, um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't get, it wouldn't defy the second law of motion because, um, the second law of motion is basically saying it's giving you acceleration and everything, everything that you do and every motion that you have has to do with acceleration, so I really don't believe there's no point in doing it, so. Nate? Um, doesn't the gyroscope have something to do with, like, centrifugal force? Uh, yes, it has to do with that, um, centrifugal force, like, for the center of it, it's lighter, and on the outside, it's heavier, mm -hmm. so. Olivia? It did the third law of motion. I defied the third law of motion. So, okay. Um, uh, is it bigger than it's going to be? Like, is it? Wait, I can't hear you. What did you say? Is it like a gyroscope? Is it Well, there's there's different types of gyroscopes. Like some are like thick like that, and some are smaller and thin. So yeah. My hypothesis was that I believe it defied the third law of motion and it was correct. So, Cameron? Well, um, one class that I had, one class that I had what, in science, um, we went over gyroscopes. And, and so, we all got into groups and so so what the gyroscope it could do and I found it that it was sweet and did a project on it. So yeah. Is that it? Yep. So what one? What's her? Well procedure for the um for the first was basically I was um getting get making the chart for the first law of motion. 
and as I can, and then when I actually did the um, trials, all I did was put it at a certain part on the hard tile floor and just push it, see how far it went. And I did that three times for each of the, for, I did it three times for no spin and three times for 30 seconds, three times for one minute and three times in one minute and 30 seconds. And then for the second part, which I um, tried the third law of motion, I had people, um, have people like move the gyroscope to see how it felt. Actually, I had them move it a certain way to see which way it tried going. So if you try to push it forward like this way, it'll want to go to the left. And if you um, push it backwards, it wants to go to the right. So yeah, is that it?